I really like painting fetuses in jars. I have been thinking a lot about Harry Curry and disemboweling yourself. It seems like such a brutal way to go out. Kristen Luong. <laughs> yep, that's me. That's in Amadeus magazine. You can definitely see like the, the influence that like cartoons and like Egyptian art with the eye shape and like the flattened features have on my work. I just wanted to make like a really generalized template person that's still recognizable. I change like skin color, hair and stuff, but I want to keep the features like pretty like blah so that everyone can project themselves onto these characters. <laughs> this is my newest and biggest piece. Well, not my biggest piece, but my big one of my bigger pieces. What did I title it? Like bound to be together or something. I just like the idea of like them both being like like stuck with each other, they're like both on like leashes and collars. And I don't know, it's just a girl hanging out with her pet. The female body is a lot more interesting to me visually. It has the curves. Like I do like painting men because of the hair, like the chest hair and like the leg hair and arm hair. Like I think that texture looks interesting and cool. For the most part, I think female nudity is just more fun. And also like penises look more vulgar and like, then I'd have to always censor my shit, you know? One erect dick in your flag. I usually go background to foreground just because I do lots of gradients and stuff in the background. And it usually starts out fairly messy in the beginning actually, and then I usually tighten it up towards the end with like line work. So that's my process. <laughs> For these drawings, I usually just work on, like, use a Micron or Faber-Castell for the black ink. And then after the whole drawing's finished, I'll scan that in, and then I'll add the color. And I usually just do a thin layer of gouache so that the paper doesn't warp too much. And I remember in the beginning, like, people would be like, your work is so sexy. And I, I was just like, I was really, it made me uncomfortable. I was like, I don't want to make sexy work. Like, I wanted to make, like, dark, creepy, twisted work that was unnerving. But I think I'm also getting more comfortable with myself. Like sexually, as you get older, you just get more comfortable with sex. So I think my work's starting to express that too. The